what's up you guys I'm back with a video that's going to be a bit different from my usual usual time-lapse drawings uh, well because first of all I would love to create some more versatile content and the second reason being that I actually moved to a new apartment recently so both my mind and my new home including my workstation are still a bit all over the place uh, so while I get my butt back in gear and find some peace of mind to actually create something, I thought I would show you some of my older artwork. I actually thought of this video while packing up all my art stuff at my old place and I came across some old sketchbooks and uh, just random drawings and thought, oh I have to show you guys this. Let's start from the beginning with something absolutely adorable. I I have this bad habit of never like putting any dates on my drawings, so I have no idea how, how old I was. So um, it says, to my best mom from Camilla. And uh, here's another one, a dog with a leash and someone yelling, wait. Okay, next up again, no idea when this is from, but I think it's cute. It's a, uh, um, what is it called? Some type of tree <laughs> and a pony. I have no idea when these are from exactly, but I'm trying to go in kind of like a, on a timeline. So the oldest first and then. Okay, next. A sketchbook. Um, the reason I want to show you this is because it's just so, like some like fantasy creature feet and uh, fantasy creature ear and some eyes. But because when people ask me how to learn to draw, uh, one thing I usually tell them that I think is important when you like practice is that you don't try to like draw a, a, like huge detailed picture but just when you sketch just do, do like small details like practice drawing eyes practice drawing ears or feet or paws and then kind of uh, go from there so it's not too overwhelming and too much to draw all at once because that will just get you discouraged and you'll feel like you're crap so start small, start with like some details and just like draw them over and over and over again. And look at reference pictures. Next. Horses. I think I've mentioned this in, in a video, but I was obsessed with drawing horses. I would draw them so much, which you'll probably see because there's a lot of them. Yeah. Another horse. Another horse. Oh, surprise, surprise, another horse. Wolf. So this is what my wolves used to look like before. I wasn't born like with amazing gifts. I've been practicing a lot, a lot. Another wolf. Oh, another wolf. And some horses. You can see this is inspired from like um, Spirit, the the horse movie Spirit. I, I think it, it's DreamWorks. I love that movie. But you can see this is kind of inspired by that style of drawing. Again, some more like dragon. I think it's dragon feet. I, at one point, I was very obsessed with drawing dragons. I still would love to like draw dragons, I just feel it's very difficult. And the wing, dragon wing, wing? I think it's upside down. It's still. And some eyes. I had this face when I loved to draw like chibi and manga. It was like before I got into like more realistic stuff. I Again with the half, half drawn, half sketched out 
things. I just leave it. Another horse. Yeah. I think this was the start of like a tattoo design. I can't remember why or what for, but I think that that's what it was. Oh, I actually quite like this one. It's like, well, you probably can see, uh, Pocahontas inspired. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. like sketches I wish I just didn't like just sketch out the outlines and just leave it at that it would have been so much more interesting to go through my sketchbooks if I actually like finished it or actually finished the idea I had no. <coughs> so many horses it's actually ridiculous Oh, also, actually, this is a good one. Anatomically, maybe not very correct, but this is also like a very good way to like um, draw like a whole animal or well anything basically. Try to like see shapes in what you're drawing and draw out the the shapes first, and then kind of like draw the whole animal around the shapes. It's so much easier and you'll, you're, you'll kind of learn the shape of the animal if you like divide it into like different shapes at first and it won't feel so overwhelming so oh so this was kind of like a anatomy study I did with just graphite pencils like most of my sketches are of a woman, and I really like it. I love how it turned out. I think this was the point when I actually got into like actually drawing, not just like doing half done sketches, but actually like drawing and shading and like the whole thing. This one's actually um, a tattoo I actually got on my foot, like on my and I actually like the design. Uh, it's on like on top of my foot like from my ankle down and it hurt like hell to get it tattooed and um, it's the kind of place where the ink most likely will kind of like wear off too so you have to like get it redone so I had it redone at least like I think at least once if not twice and it hurt like hell the both times so yeah Next one. I like the idea of this. This was actually like a sketch for a digital painting I wanted to do. Uh, it's uh, Alice in Wonderland inspired, but like more like, well, I guess adult kind of gory style with Alice uh, with the rabbit. And I think the idea was that I would have like a um, Cheshire cat like behind her but like as a tiger more so than a cat like a huge one and I wonder what happened to that painting because I remember I started doing it digitally but for some reason I never finished it surprise surprise again <laughs> me with my half done artwork okay really quick just a couple more horses then we're done with the horses then I'm over it I'm over it so I think now we're up to the point where I actually I started studying to become like a well I started studying like graphic design but we also had just some like basic art lessons and I think this is where I actually started to like really finishing my artwork to begin with and uh, just like doing some more like, not just horses anymore. Just like different stuff, more interesting stuff. Okay, so I love these. These are actually, uh, I remember this was like a school assignment. We had to like do some illustrations for sometime 
a type of fairy tale or a story and I did it. I had to do three illustrations and I did some for the uh, Princess and the Pea by Hans Christian Andersen. I actually quite like the the story. I can't remember in which order these are but I'm guessing like this is the first one and I, I really like this. This is not like usually my type of style of like illustrating. I don't know how I like decided to go with this type of illustrations but that's the first one I think it's the princess in the rain when she arrives at the place I'm sorry I can't remember the story actually <laughs> exactly but yeah and all the mattresses and the pea again I really 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 love the colors and the shading and everything I really love it yay me and the last one with the crown and the pillow lovely I think it actually like oh just like I told you now I really like this like new new type of illustrating technique but I really think that it helps you like develop your own style and helps you like develop your drawing skills if you do like assignments even like go on the internet and look for like drawing assignments just someone else telling you what to draw I think it really helps you kind of discover new things about yourself and about your drawing skills and just yeah finding new ways to illustrate even though I wasn't told to do like a specific style I just happened to try a different style with a new assignment. So that's one thing to think about when you learn how to draw. Ooh, next up, first, this one, a moose. I love moose drawings. I don't know why I... Well, I live in Finland, so we, ha we have a lot of, of moose here and they're just magnificent creatures and I think they're... I don't know. They're beautiful and I love drawing them. And then we actually have the first drawing I did on YouTube. The first ever video, drawing video I uploaded on YouTube was this drawing. And I remember I uploaded it on Facebook too and and it got so much attention. I actually, I should, I should do more like graphite pen drawing, like pencil drawings. I don't really, I have too much like materials now, I just can't, I don't appreciate like just graphite anymore in the same way I used to because like I told you in the last video that I started out with just graphite pencils, I didn't have anything else except for like watercolors but I didn't like watercolors back then, I thought they were a pain in the ass to work with so yeah, I love this one too I wish it was bigger so I could have it framed. And like, <laughs> I know you, some of you have like commented on on the the first like tiger copic drawing I did uh, because it's from the same like sketch pad, just stripped out like paper like this. And you were asking me like, why on earth would you do that? Like, why would you use paper like that? But that's just me. Like, I never really like planned on making art and like you know feeling the pressure of like starting a new piece I just felt like drawing something and I, then I just drew it on whatever paper I happened to have and this is the result me wishing I did it on a bigger paper <laughs> One more graphite drawing of um, Zombie Boy, Rick Genest. I don't know how you pronounce his name really. Genest? Genest? Gen uh, anyway, I have a newer version of him uh, with Copic markers, but I really like this graphite pencil drawing too. Ooh, next we have Andy Beersack. I believe I actually recorded a video of making this, but I think I. I ended up not liking it, so I hid it or made it private. But now, like seeing this after like a, some time, it's not that bad. 
And this one, again, ripped, ripped out from a sketchbook. But um, this one I know I did a video of and I know I uploaded it and I know I made it private because I ended up not liking it. But it's um, Leonardo DiCaprio when he was in Titanic, when he was a young kid in Titanic, and this is from one of the scenes from Titanic. This was again like a, a school assignment, on, like a, in an art class. Uh, I, so I can't remember exactly like what this like type of, like the process was called, but it was pretty cool. So this, these are the finished, oh hang on, there we go finished artworks, like two types of, of ink, oh sorry, bunny and uh, geisha I think and then a uh, dream catcher. And the way we did it was we had like these like um, metal things, plates, and we had to like sketch out some type of like fairly simple like image and then like carve it into these and there was like some like it was a, like a long process of making these and then you just like put like um, paint over the plates and then you press these images but you can see they had like the it's carved into them I don't know if you can see oh by the way I have a new camera I like it, it's a new Olympus, I'll list it down below. But yeah, I'm actually very excited and I actually got it for like, I'm going to Africa in a month uh, to see some like mountain gorillas and so that's why I bought it but I thought I really needed a new camera to make some like nicer videos for you guys too so. I'm actually thinking about like vlogging, vlogging going to Africa. I thought it would it might be cool to make kind of like a blog thing just to show you what inspires me. Next up is actually not really a drawing, <clears throat> but it's uh, this uh, work I kind of wanted to explain because I actually have this uh, a video of me doing this up and um, it's uh, made with a tattoo machine. Like a few years ago, I decided to get some tattoo machines and some very crappy, like very cheap ink I would never put into a person. But I just wanted to kind of practice like using the machine and um, using the inks and everything. So I um, I saw this video on YouTube where, uh, where a tattoo artist uh, recommended getting these like um, foam sheets or foam pads from like a craft store. And uh, because it's very cheap, a lot cheaper than buying the very expensive like fake skin thing to practice on. So I just bought some of those and um, did a practice run and uh, yeah, I really like it. I still don't know how to, how to tattoo really, but it's one of those things I kind of like secretly, well not so secret, <laughs> dream about maybe learning in the future. I think it would be awesome to know how to tattoo. I think. It Next, I should have shown you this earlier, but um, I don't know, it got mixed in with like the newer work, but this was actually like the first Copic drawing I ever did, like full drawing, and it actually says here uh, 2014, so that's when I got my Copic markers and I started drawing with Copic markers. And this was the first like drawing I did, and I think it turned out well, I mean I didn't really like uh, <laughs> It's very like a marker style drawing. I didn't really blend much, at least not the background, but I think it looks all right. And um, for a first drawing with new material, I think it's all right. And uh, again, I've just ripped it out of a sketch pad. And I actually, I've been watching these like sketch pad tours on YouTube of other artists and I, I really wish I had my own sketch pads to like, or sketch blocks to like go through 
because what I usually do when I feel like drawing something, I rip out the paper from a sketch pad and then I draw on it. And then I have these like papers just like lying, lying around everywhere and looking very ragged and, and awful instead of just drawing in the pad or sketchbooks. So I kind of, I'm, I'm gonna maybe try to actually fill a sketchbook from start to finish at some point so I can do a sketchbook tour because I think it would be cool. <laughs> Next up, um, uh, I love this, and also, um, repeat after me guys, um, I will store my artwork properly from now on, because look at this. I love this artwork and I would maybe like to frame it, but I've, I've just stored it very poorly. I think I had it up on my wall with just like tape at one point too, but um, yeah. This is what happens when you like finish an artwork and you don't have enough respect for it and you just throw it somewhere and uh, it's gonna get ripped and wrinkled and look awful and I think you should respect your artwork and store it properly. So again repeat after me, store your artwork properly please. Don't be irresponsible like me. But yeah, rest in peace. I love this. It's done with Copic markers, by the way. Ooh, focus, focus, there we go. Um, this is actually not a traditional drawing, but I still wanted to include it when I found this because um, it's a dig digital painting I made of a tarantula, uh, P. Metallica. And I love this, I love this painting so much, I love the colors and everything and uh, I wish my printer still worked, I actually have to get a new one at some point when I can afford it. But um, when it still worked, I, I think it did a really good job with the colors and everything. I hope the camera does it justice too, I mean it's a good camera, so... Yeah, I really like this one. Next, we have some sketches of some birds. Uh, this was actually a work or sketches for a customer who wanted he wanted like a tattoo design i think there was like a hourglass and uh, birds on it but um as it turned out at some point he just stopped answering me and uh, just basically disappeared so he didn't pay for the work i did and i Really, really hope he didn't just take my sketches and go with them to a uh, tattoo artist. I mean, I did have my watermark on it and everything, but some tattoo artists don't really care. They just tattoo it anyways. So, yeah, irresponsible jerk. I should do more of these, like, uh, just like sketch, like spreads with just like a lot of like studies. I think they they look nice, and I don't do it do it very often so next if it will focus there we go next again a piece oh again repeat after me store your artwork properly dang it Camilla get your shit together anyways again an artwork I did a YouTube video of and I can't remember if I ever took the video down. I remember I, I wasn't very pleased with it at some point and I wanted to take it down but I can't remember if I did. But yeah, I think uh, the background is graphite and then it's just Copic markers and uh, colored pencils. And I, I was and still am pretty obsessed with Hunger Games. I love them, I love the books, I love the, video, the movies, and I love the actors. Next up, a horsey! I did actually manage to have some other artwork in between before we got, got back to the horses again. Um, pastel blocks on black paper. Next, a cat drawing. I... it's sphinx and um, a moth. And I really... I, I, I am a dog person. I 
I like cats too, but I am a dog person, definitely. But if I ever got a cat, I probably would want a Sphinx. I don't know what it is about them, I just think they're very, like, interesting creatures. <laughs> Some would say they are so ugly they're pretty, but I don't know. I don't think they're ugly in any way, I think they're just, like, interesting. <laughs> yeah, graphite, graphite pencil and um, Copic markers. Some more horses and again an unfinished artwork. I actually I'm proud of myself for finishing a lot of artworks in between, but here we have one that's not finished. But um yeah, coffee painting of horses and I think I might finish it at some point. I actually quite like it. Next we have an interesting one. So I get very inspired by like cultures and especially like uh, combining cultures and um, animals. Uh, I was practicing like drawing like thick facial hair and dark skin because I, I haven't really, well I'm not very good at drawing even light skin but like dark skin I think I hadn't done it before this so I wanted to do that too. Another unfinished one and another uh, cultural one, kind of. I, Looking at this now, I don't know why I didn't finish it. I remember that I, I didn't like it. I wasn't happy with how it like, looked, so I just left it. But a um, dark-skinned woman with some cloth and a shaved head and an ox and a black background. And I really, I don't know, now when I look at it, I really like it and I love how I like mixed in some like purples in her skin tone and yeah, I like it. I might finish it at some point because I like it now. Except for the fact that the horns are very asymmetrical to like the face and everything. So that's one thing, but... Next! Oh, I... I I, I'm re very proud of these like coffee paintings that are like fan art. I don't know why, I just really love like doing fan art like this. And um, yeah, so this is Chase Wyland, uh, portrayed by Jamie Campbell from the Mortal, Mortal in Instruments uh, in the movie City of Bones. I read the, the book City of Bones, I actually haven't gotten around to reading the rest of them because I remember I read the first book. I was so in love with the book, it was so awesome. And uh, then I watched the movie and I fell in love with Jamie Campbell as uh, Jace Welland a lot. I think he's perfect for the character. And uh, then um, they ran out of money to make more movies of the rest of the books. And so later on, instead, someone started making like a, a series of like like based on the books with different different um, actors and I was so upset and I, I, I really like I was offended personally offended because I love Jamie Campbell as Jace so yeah then I just I just lost interest in all of it I might actually get the rest of the books because I love the first one I th and next, another one, this too, I have a video of, but it's just so, I, one of my favorite paintings I've ever done. And again, learn to store your artwork properly. Mila, God damn it. Yeah, I, I've, I really want to frame this, but yeah, I've been so careless with it. I don't know how I let this happen. Uh, but yeah, it's um, Theo James who is the actor of Four in the in Divergent movies. Again, I love the books so much, so much. Oh, I was so obsessed with the books, I read them so fast. And um, yeah, I don't know why, I just like love to make these like coffee painting fan art things. And I think uh, even this, like this painting, the video, me painting this painting should have a lot more views <laughs> just because it's my favorite so <laughs> go go watch it I'll, uh, I'll link it here there go watch it thanks
Next, this was a sketch I made for a friend's band for uh, their single, like a cover art for their single. And it's just this girl with like a, there's a black widow spider hanging from her face and her face is like cracking and uh, I did uh, scan this onto my computer and digitalized it, but um, I I love the sketch of it. I mean the 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 finished piece is pretty pretty like similar to the sketch. It's I didn't do much, a lot with it, but I still like I love the sketch. I think it's there's just something about it I really like. But yeah guys, so I think that's it for this time. Let me know in the comments if you liked this video or if you didn't like the video. <laughs> You're free to like <laughs> express your opinions either way. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and um, I really really hope you all subscribe too. And uh, I'm planning on maybe possibly doing a workstation video once I get my workstation all set up and kind of like decorated and interesting hopefully soon I'm doing my best I'm trying to get everything in order a little bit stressed out right now but yeah it's gonna be great and I'll make a lot more videos and I'm very excited about making like more maybe like more vlog type things or just like more like an insight on the art life, <laughs> if that's what you should call it, um, as opposed to just like time lapse drawings, because I think it's fun to make. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!